All right, streaming live here, waiting for my image to start coming on the screen. Waiting to see what's happening here. Going to refresh, making sure that my connections are working, making sure my mic is working, making sure all those fun things are working. And at the moment, I don't see an image streaming yet. Are they actually holding me to a three o'clock stream? Start 3.30 start. I'm waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting to see if I'm streaming. My software says I'm streaming, but I don't see it on the screen. There's my analytics, and now I'm streaming live. Let's start the stream. Here we go. I'm streaming live and I didn't see it, so I'm out there. Let me check to make sure everything's working. All right, I got that out on the screen. I'm streaming. I'm streaming, streaming, streaming. I have to make sure I'm in the right stream. Let me try typing. Let's see if I have Judy, can you see me? I have the wrong chat session up here, it looks like. Hmm. Where am I streaming to? Yes, good. Okay, you could see me. Good. I'm <laughs> I have a different chat window up here. I'm gonna Probably my chat window is not going to work today. I'm just going to have to use the normal chat. Things are a little strange here. I uh, started today's show and uh, I was excited to get it going. And all of a sudden what happened was my system froze up. So here I am in the middle of trying to post that I'm doing a live today. So I went to my cell phone and I scheduled it on my cell phone. So then I go back to YouTube and I go to log into YouTube. I can't find it at all. It's just not there. It's not there whatsoever. Then I find the picture. Now what I see, if I go out to my YouTube channel, instead of seeing me streaming live, I have a picture of just my smiling face. Then again, it may be streaming now. Maybe I'm going to see the live stream now. Nope, I still see my face. I have no idea why that's happening. But according to Judy, I am streaming live so Judy, if you're there, say hello again. Just make sure this is going out to the world. And I'm looking at how many views now. I have two, two, two viewers, so that's me. That's hopefully Judy. So let me just check one more time, Judy. You're my pal, my friend. Judy, can you hear me? All right, there we go. All right, I am streaming live. Wow, okay, my wife just walked in, showed me the computer. I am streaming live, so I could stop doing all this funky testing and get going on. I, I have no idea. I think it's our internet system that is so laggy. I'm still streaming here. I, I've just got a huge lag going here. Judy's high again. <laughs> That's la I, ah! it, it's just crazy here today. I don't know if our internet is going kafui here or streaming but i'm going to do this today today i have a reindeer and this is a reindeer design that i saw i developed i changed i modified i developed again and i'm going to share this with you uh here's a different version of it so if you're new to the show, my name is Dale Abracta. I'm a professional balloon entertainer, been entertaining for over 25 years. I stream live here every Friday. Sometimes it goes really smoothly and other times it could be like today where it's just craziness. So hopefully it goes smooth. Hopefully it goes good. Let's get the show going and get going. Hi, my name is Dale Abracta and welcome to my YouTube channel where we're streaming live today. Let's learn something new, fun, and exciting. So let's get started now. All right, now that we got this out of the way, let's actually start with the, the reindeer. This is a reindeer that I originally saw many, many, many years ago on 
uh, to do what a, if balloon HQ. Yeah, Balloon HQ used to be a balloon forum where balloon entertainers around the world used to get together and talk and chat. And it was just a thread. It wasn't really even pictures. And I saw a picture of a reindeer posted and I sat down and I started looking at it. And I came up with a design and I found that there were two things that you could do a reindeer and pass it off to a kid. Or you could do a reindeer as a hat or you could do as a reindeer as a stick. I mean, I've, I've come up with many different designs for this reindeer to be used but it's basically off what i call a triangle heads design so i'm going to show you how to do that it is not difficult i like to make mine look a little more elaborate here this design lays itself perfect to using balloon eyes instead of actually drawing a marker on the eyes it allows you to do this so do me a favor right now if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe Click that notification button so you know that you are here when I go live or any of the other videos that I post, you'll get notified. So that's a big thing is please do that. The other thing I always say, please watch to the very end. I try giving out some tips and advice at the end or answer any of your questions that you may have. And always give me some comments. Tell me if you like it, if you don't like it. I know Judy is a regular out here. I appreciate her coming out. She always says some nice things to me. I appreciate that, Judy. And uh, with that, that helps me know if you're understanding uh, the design. If you have a question or a comment, go put it out there. I will answer it. I answer 99.9% .9 of all the comments out there, good or bad. I will answer them. And uh, that's it. So today it's Friday gonna get rid of some housekeeping here get it clean let's start off with the design now I'm gonna use a 260 and I'm gonna use a mocha and I'm gonna leave just a little at the end I'm gonna use roughly 95% of the balloon if not more more like 98% of the balloon and I'm gonna start with the small pinch twist and I the way I work this design is I'm gonna build from the bottom nose up down so it's going to be in this fashion when i build things the way i remember them is kind of the construction if i'm doing a face i think you know if i'm starting at an ear ear cheek nose cheek ear if i'm starting with maybe a cat maybe i'm starting with cat cheeks and then chin so i always look at the parts and think about the parts that i'm remembering as it gives me a way to remember what i'm making not where I'm, you know, uh, do, do I start with a foot? Put the logical pictures in your head. This way you could visually see what you're making. So this is going to be a small pinch twist. And again, I don't want to make the nose too long because if I do that, I eat up the balloon. So this is only going to be about three fingers. Three to four max. Followed by another pinch twist. So I have a pinch twist, bubble, pinch twist, pull back. This is the bottom half of the reindeer's cheeks. So this is actually going to be in the nose part. So I pull that back. And what I'm looking to do is angle this to a point where this is going to be longer than the bottom. So this structure is longer than this. And I'm going to put another pinch twist right at this point then i'm going to come down and i'm going to make a bubble that i don't want i don't want my face this way i want my face like a number four so it's going to be approximately the same size as this balloon right here so i come down lock that lock the pinch twist in there we go you spin me right round. There we go. Wrap it around. See, it's the number four. Let's see. How, how do I do a number four? This way. This is the number four. So I have the number four. This is the triangular head or the number four. So I'm making a basic number four. Now, here comes the interesting part. I start and I measure the child's head. And I'm going to take a small bubble comes around and that gives me an idea of approximately where the head is going to fall so I'm measuring the head design the head 
little bubble, measure the head, and that's where you twist it in. So this neck can vary, but it's not designed to be really long. It's not to be short. It's the size of the head. And if you get too crazy with it and you make this too big or this too big, you just run out of balloon. And this is one of the balloons that you remember, like the one balloon, like I talked about doing uh, the squirrel that you may have to add into. This you just got to be careful because if you go crazy with any of this right here, it throws off everything else. So smaller is better than being extremely large. Now, put this on my arm, just get it out of the way. I am going to use a white balloon. Now, the white balloon is actually the cheeks, and it's going to be by two small pinch twists. When I say small, these are going to be small bubbles because I'm going to want two of them to sit side by side. So it's a bubble that's converted into a pinch twist, a bubble that is the same size that's converted into a pinch twist. So if you look at this, my pinch twist is the whole diameter of this bubble. I'm not making big ones. I'm not doing big fold twists. They're just simple, small pinch twists. Now I'm going to take this pinch twist and this is going to get tied right into this location. And what I do is I squeeze some air out and I simply wrap it around. Now, the way this sits, you can see, I'm trying to give you a, the best angle for this because this is going to be the spot where the red nose goes. This is going to make that little divot. It's going to be a little pocket. Now, squeeze out some air. I don't want a fat, full air bubble here. This is just the fur underneath the reindeer. So if you make that too big, then it looks like a puffy turkey neck. And we're not trying to do a puffy turkey neck because it's not Thanksgiving, it's the Christmas season. So I squeeze some air out and I try making it a little thinner. And by squeezing some air out, stretching a little, I make it softer, I get a smaller bubble. Wrap it around that pinch twist again. Now, this is where I said this design works perfect for actually adding in the black eyes. So to do this, what we're going to do is make two bubbles. And these bubbles are not going to be as tall, just a little shorter than the length of this section right here. So I'm going to make a bubble. Squeeze, just make it a little softer. Bubble again, two identical bubbles, and I'm going to twist them together. Oh, I lost my pinch twist. No! All right, let's see. Wow. Oh. I, I had a pinch twist. Right. See how well this works, folks. Let's see. I could tie that back in. I know I'm going to have a, bo a balloon that goes in just a second here. All right, let's try this again real quick here. Let me get a brown balloon. Where's my brown balloons? Where's my pump? I'll catch up to you in just a matter of a couple seconds here. Ooh, overstretched that one in the beginning. Got carried away there. All right, so you guys see me work real speed here. This is how fast I normally twist these. Just when I'm teaching, it goes a lot slower. All right, here we go. Got a stranger or bold. See, I catch up to my head size. And this is a little too long, so what I'm going to do is force a pinch twist in here. So I'm going to put a bubble, pinch twist it again. La -la! There we go, Captain Underpants. Here we go. I now have that. I go back. Ouch! Here we go. All right, save my bubble. All right. Now, cut up. Take this part. Right in. 
wrap it around. This is live, folks. This is what happens live. If you've ever seen one of my videos doing live streams, it pops, it happens, we fix, we move on. I'm not going to edit this out. This is live. That is why I teach you to remember subscribe because this is live. This is not, this is the prettiness all in one. So I'm going to squeeze the ear out again. Come back in. Come up. All right, now I'm gonna do my two eyeballs, two bubbles, twist them in, break off, remove, throw away, tie off. Now I'm gonna slide these eyes, these eyes, these eyes. There's a song like that. I think it's called These Eyes. No, it's not. It's... Here we go. So I have my divot for my nose, and you notice I have this huge pocket to still put the, the little black eyeballs in. So I have my black balloon over here, pre-inflated. What I'm gonna simply do is make a bubble, two bubbles, these are the black eyes. Black eyes. These are the pupils. Wow, I almost poked myself in the eye. Did you see that? If I, if I was recording this and re-editing it, I'd show myself poking myself in the eye. I, 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 all right, here we go. So I have my two bubbles, same size. Take, take my knots, swing them around, tie them together. Don't tie your finger in, break off. Now I always, when I break my eyes off, I, I leave this extra because I take this around and I just wrap it around a couple times. It tightens up, pulls everything together and gives me not really a kidney shape, but it brings in, where, where's a good spot to show that? It brings in the eyes like this. So now what I'm gonna do is take these eyes, oh, look at the cute little Bambi eyes. They're all right there. All right, now what I'm gonna do is finish up. Where'd my red nose go? Red nose, here we go. All right, the drinking reindeer, as I like to call them. Again, I'm just going to make a bubble. If you have a scrap of balloon, that's great. I'm probably going to find a use for this scrap eventually. But when I'm doing 27 reindeers in a row, it is one of these things that, uh, you're right, Judy, it is dedication, um, that uh, I will inflate a balloon, break it off, tie this, and then put it in my bag. And just waiting for that next reindeer, because when I do one of these reindeers, I usually get like three or four or five kids ask for a reindeer after that. I don't want to want to keep inflating a nose or a red balloon, red balloon. I just want to break it off, have a bunch of these red balloons or a solid red balloon that I can keep cracking them off. Now, take the red, fits right perfect into that divot. Look at that. Oh, ain't she sweet? She's walking. Why am I singing today? I'm in a good mood today. I don't know why. It's YouTube. Yay! YouTube makes me happy. Uh, I hope it's making you happy. So now we have the face. And this part right here, we're going to turn this way. This is where the antlers are going to fit in. Now for the antlers, I am using a yellow blush balloon. Yellow blush balloon. That's not even... Uh, it is the... Pale Yellow by Batelic. Now, you may be wondering, Dale, why am I using a Pale Yellow? I bought Pale Yellow. I don't have a great use for Pale Yellow, but I actually found out that it works nice for antlers, so I'm using it for antlers. So, inflate the balloon no more than halfway. You're going to start with just basically a sword handle, so it's going to be like the handle, fold twist, fold Spin it around. There, there's your sword. Ah! Now take this, bend it, squeeze it, let the air out, create a 90 degree bend. A little after that bend location, that's where you're going to twist. That's where you're, you're going to twist, twist, twist. Now uh, we're going to take this right here and wrap it right in to that location. Now we're going to reverse the process. What I like to do is I take the balloon, I grab it, take it, squeeze, create that bend, go right above that bend, and I'm going to do a fold, fold, 
And at this point, you see my balloon has filled up all the way. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna break this part off, let it deflate so now I could tie. I, be honest with you folks, for decades, I have been trying my darndest to use uh, reindeer ears doing more than one balloon, trying to get two reindeer ears out of one balloon, making two antlers. It really doesn't work. I have tried and I've tried and what happens is you get enough to come around like this and then it ends. You really have to stretch the balloon. You have to think, just plan on using one 260 balloon for the antler head. Now that's my tip for you guys staying to the very end. I appreciate this. Now I'm gonna clean it up. I like to have my knots hidden. It's just OCC. OCD, DCO, ABC, whatever you call that, OCD. I'm going to clean that up, straighten it up. I hope you like it. That's what it looks like. Here it is. Now, if, if you followed me on Instagram over the years or you followed me on Facebook, you probably would have seen me make a larger one of these. I have made them out of 350s and 646s where I'll do the heads and make these big heads and they're with the big antlers like that. They're just really large in scale. Um, you can even, I when I even goof around with kids, you can put it around their neck. This just happens to be a very popular reindeer head that I've been making for years. I hope you like it. Now do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, thank you for watching to the end. And this is where I'm gonna show you something here. Now, if I were to do the same design here, let me see it. Let's say I want to do the reindeer without the antlers because you have watched to the end. I'm going to show you a slight different modification. Basically, this is the same head I've given reindeer blue eyes. Now, when you bring it up like this, I will put ears here. And the ears are actually where the pinch twists are. So instead of me doing a single pinch twist, I'll do two small fold twists, which actually become the ears. Because again, if we look at the back of this design, you'll see that all I did was one single pinch twist. You eat up a lot more balloon when you start doing this. And it becomes very tricky to make sure you have the proper amount of balloon here because you're not gonna be able to put a pinch twist in. The neck gets small. You get these ears. Now, if I'm gonna do this, I wind up doing this as a Bambi. And I will take off the red nose. I will give it a black nose. Uh, sometimes I give blue eyes, sometimes traditionally black eyes. I will then, at this moment, use this out of blush. The reason why I do it out of blush because it gives it the fawn look. Whenever I go with a dark color, in my mind, the mocha actually gives me an idea of a mature reindeer. The blush actually creates a smaller fawn type reindeer. And that, that maybe is me, maybe it's you. Uh, you possibly get the same way as if you did this all out of a dark brown or a chocolate brown and actually went with the fawn being the lighter color. Now, what does this actually set you up for? Well, this could actually set you up for an older child having the reindeer with the antlers and then the fawn. But I suggest if you're gonna do that, uh, be careful to do the fact that anytime you give one child something different than the other child, one child gets upset unless that child wants to be different than their brother or sister. It is just something I've learned over the years that even though I'm making something that may be a little neater and cooler and has a slightly bigger wow effect, the sibling will look at its older brother and go, I don't have that. Next thing you know, you're trying to incorporate something that doesn't fit. I don't put antlers on here. I've tried, the problem is, when you start putting the antlers in, they just sag down too low and all of a sudden you get a droopy antler. So my, my style is to keep it this way. Here it is again. You got two reindeers. Again, this is what a blush here. Blush, you may be able to pick that up. This is with the yellow. I'm trying to find out, you know, in my lighting system here, I really get phased out here, but you can see we have two reindeers. Again, fits your head. 
you want to go crazy with this, you can put uh, ornaments off the ears. I mean, there's no stopping. I mean, you could even take it that one step. Because you guys watch to the very end. I always do this because when you stay to the very end. I'm going to take a white balloon. This is the bonus for you guys staying to the end. And what I'm just going to do is create a little cotton tail. We're going to have a white-tailed deer. They're actually uh, common in Illinois. So all I'm going to do is create... I know! Use scissors! All I did was create... A full twist, a little, little pinch. Now I'm going to find the back of the balloon. Twist it in. That keeps the tail up. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Woo! I don't know if I'm an Easter bunny or if I'm uh, a reindeer. But uh, there you go. Thank you for staying to the end. Do me a favor, drop me a comment. Make sure you like this. Make sure you share. As always, my name is Dale LeBrock. I am streaming almost every single Friday at 3.30. Tell a friend. Be nice. Next time, I'll get my chat working right because I didn't get to see all the chats, but I did get to see the conversations that we had. Judy, thank you for being here. See you next week. My name's Dale LeBrock. Bye-bye. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.